Hi, people. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Guys, can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Hello, teachers. Good hello. evening. Good evening, guys. How are you? How is everything? How are you? <clears throat> Welcome everybody, welcome Ada, welcome Ofelia, Guadalupe, Luis, Gabriela, Carla, and Solma. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining the class. Thank you for being here. I'm happy, I'm glad to see you again. It's a pleasure. It's a beautiful day, beautiful Tuesday. It's, right. I see very few, very few people today, like just eight, seven actually. Tell me, guys, how was your day? Tell me, how was your day? Hi. Ada, how was your day? It's fine, teacher. Easy, difficult? Mm. Mm. Difficult. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry for that. Okay, that's good. That's cool. What about you, Carla? How was your day? How was your day, Carla? <clears throat> okay, my day was busy because for me today was a close of the month. Mm, uh, yeah. It's my it's my heavy day in uh, administrative uh, activities, but it's, but it was it, it was nice. Yes, it was <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay, excellent. That's good. That's good. What about you, Luis? How was your day? Hey, we didn't see you yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had my, my son, my little son sick. So I was taking care of him. Okay, that's okay. And he better now? And mm, kind of. He is oh. still under observation. Okay, I understand. But in general, in general, it was a good day. Kind of busy, but it was... Uh, really productive day today. All right, that's awesome. A very productive day, huh? Excellent. That's okay, that's okay. All right, very good. Now, like more people have joined the class already. That's okay. That's perfect. Apparently over here, uh, there's a storm coming. So maybe if I lose connection or uh, if a Zoom, kicks me out, it's, it's because of that, because of the storm. Okay, I'm just letting you know beforehand. And let me tell you that today, well, today in comparison with, with last week, today I feel better, super good. See, like now I, I, I just feel amazing. <clears throat> and that's, that's, that's something really good. All right, uh, let me take attendance. Let me take attendance and then we will start with today's lesson. All right, let me see Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Hi, Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. No. Ana Selmi Chavez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hi. Welcome. Hi. Thank you, teacher. Well. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Hi, present. Hi. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Caldames. <coughs> Here. <coughs> Hi. How Hi. are you? How are you? Are you okay? Are you better? No, no, no fine. Oh, no. <laughs> but um Surviving. Surviving, yes. Surviving, yeah. Okay, that's okay. I'm glad that you're here. Okay, take medicine and uh, try to rest. Yes. Jose, sorry, Guadalupe Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Hi. Jose Ernesto Osorio Moran. <clears throat> we don't see him yet. Uh, Julia Patricia Vasquez Santos. Julia Patricia is not here yet. 
o Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Ay. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. <coughs> Lourdes is not here either. She was sick yesterday, very sick. Luis Orlando Rodriguez Herrera. Here. Hey. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. I don't see him around. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Ofelia, are you there? <clears throat> Hold on. Okay, Ofelia, I see, I see, I saw her before. No, she's there, but she's not saying anything. Pamela Beatriz Posada, Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Hi, hello. Rosa Elena Salgado de, de Serrano. Rosa Elena, not here. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Hello. Yeah. Sandra, are you there? No, I don't, I don't think so. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeto. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Hello, hello. Zulma Rosaura. Present. Y trigonometría. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. And Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present teacher. Okay. Sí, hay. There are a lot of people missing today. Many people missing. Well, Lourdes is here already, so let me go to the here. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Thank you guys for being here. It's a pleasure to be here and to have you here okay. again. Yes. It's a good day to continue learning. Today we're going to be uh, talking about some, some things that we have already talked about. And uh, also we're going to reinforce ourselves with uh, some new vocabulary. Well, not really new, but you know, vocabulary that might be very useful for you guys. And that's what we're going to be doing. And we're going to be doing some other activities in which we're going to apply what we have learned so far. All right, that's what's going on. Let's go to this, hold on. Here we go. Okay. Uh, do you see the presentation or do you see what I'm sharing? Yes. Okay, thank you. It says describe leadership traits, traits with S, sorry in management today is class number four okay we have seen this already so what do you guys what do you guys before we continue here i would like to hear like three or four people do you remember what we were talking about yesterday like what we were practicing do you remember guys Use that. Okay, use of that. Okay, what else? People, what, what else were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about how to define a person who is a leader. Okay, okay. Yes, we were, we were also talking about how, how to, to see a person that has leadership skills. Okay, but before we go into the topic, I want to review the use of that and who as objects, as objects. 
So I'm going to write down here relative, relative pronouns as objects, okay? Relative pronouns as objects. Yesterday I shared the structure with you all and um, I'm guessing you still have it, but I'm going to give it to you again. We start the set, the, uh, remember, guys, remember that with, uh, with who and that, we have two different sentences, okay? And who or that are, these two words are helping us join or connect these two sentences, okay? That's what it is. So uh, we start the sentence, with the subject plus, sorry, plus the verb plus the complement. <clears throat> okay, that is the first part. That's the first part. Then after the complement, we find a way, we find a way to connect two sentences or to connect this sentence with another sentence <clears throat> using that or using <coughs> sorry, or using who, okay? Using that or using who. After, after that or who, we need to use another subject plus another verb. And uh, possibly there can be, uh, there can be uh, a complement as well, okay? So that, that's how it is. Okay, uh, last week, last week on, on Friday, to be very specific, we were talking about relative pronouns as subjects. And yesterday we were talking about the same thing, but being used as objects. Okay, so let me start. I can say, for example, Juan, we can say, cleans, let's see, floors, okay? Juan cleans floors, that's just the first sentence with the, with the subject, which is one verb, cleans and complement floors in this case. Now we can use either either that or who, one of them, okay? Uh, which one do you guys would use here? Which one would you use, that or who? Tell me, hi, are you guys there? Who? Who did you? Who? Yeah. Okay. Floor. Okay, here we go. People in the subject. Uh, yeah. The verb. In that case, maybe that. Okay, that's 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 the thing. Okay, that's exactly exactly yes. Okay, so uh, this is how it is. I told you that that we can use we can use who or that for people in the same way. Okay, there is no difference. There's no difference when we're talking about people. But if we're talking about objects, animals, or or other things that are not people, we only use that. We do not use who. So in this case, we're talking about floors. So yes, mm -hmm. that's okay. We need to use that. that in this case. That sounds better. <laughs> uh -huh. That sounds better. Okay, sounds good. Okay, see, we have connected yeah. two sentences here. One clean floor is one sentence, and people have stained is another sentence. So we're using that to join those, those two sentences or to connect them to have just one sentence, okay? And to have a better fluency and a better understanding when we're speaking, okay? Do you know what, what stain is? Stain? No. No? Anybody? Manchado. Okay, manchado, that's what it is. People, las personas han manchado. 
Okay, yes. So that's how it is. Okay, that's that's how it goes. <clears throat> okay, another example can be we're gonna be Edwin. Let's say Edwin. We have the example here, Edwin saw, saw is the verb, okay? Saw a friend who or that Okay, look at this one. Edwin saw a friend who or that he went to school with. He is a subject here, the second sentence, after after who or after, after that. Went is the verb and to school is the complement, okay, of the sentence. Edwin saw Edwin, a friend. Yes, yes, sorry. Edwin saw a friend mm -hmm. who went to school with. Sorry? Edwin saw a friend mm -hmm. who went to a school to a school with. No, no. If you do that, if you do that, it will be like this. Edwin saw a friend who went to school or who went to school with him, but it sounds kind of weird. I know. Who who went to school? Uh -huh. Who went Amid to school? The, the with teacher. Exactly, exactly. But in that case, we're saying that the, the friend didn't go to school. He just went to school one day. So something like that, please. Yeah. Okay. We can use, over here in this sentence, we can use both. We can use who or we can use that, okay? Or, or I told you yesterday, remember, we can omit it as well, okay? I'm going to put it in parentheses. And this tells me that you can omit that part. You can say, Edwin saw a friend he went to school with, with no problems, okay? Excellent. In this People. case, the omit the who and that, the with is, is right. Yeah, that's correct, that's correct. Yes, that's correct. Okay, then teacher. All right, very good. Then I would like, I would like to hear some examples from, from some people not everybody, just a few people. So are there any volunteers that would like to share or give us an example? People, hello, come on, come on, go. Tell me, tell me, you can do this. Okay, then I'm going to choose people directly. I think that sounds better or it's a better idea. Uh, we're gonna give Pamela the chance to, to, to shine. Pamela, are you there? Yes. Okay, can you give us an example using who or that in a sentence or in two sentences? Mm -hmm. Pamela, are you there? Hello. Um, yes, I'm there. Um, using who or that? Using who or in that? In the middle, in the sentence. Um, mm -hmm. um, 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 uh, my mom uh, likes mm -hmm. to drink water. Uh, who? Mm, no. 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 <laughs> Haha, -ha, people. Hello. <laughs> it's okay. Don't don't worry. Okay, I understand. I understand the confusion. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you some some minutes to think about your example, Pamela. 
Okay. Yeah. Please. In the meantime, in the meantime, I'm going to choose another person that can give me an example. Okay. Let me see. Let me try with Luis. Luis, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I know you were not here yesterday, but but uh, give it a try, please. Sure. Let me check. Like um, Mario cleans uh, these stairs that people used to walk. Can you please repeat? Sure. Yes. Uh, Mario cleans these stairs that people used to walk. Okay. Yes, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. We cannot use who in that case. We can. Uh, we can only use that because it is yeah. an object. Okay, we could omit it though. We can omit it as well with no problems. Okay, thank you, Luis, for your, exa for your example. If you guys don't remember how, how it goes or how the structure is, it is here, okay? I'm sharing with you all so you can see it. Edwin, yes, you uh, wanna give us an example? Go ahead. Yes, teacher. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Okay, um, yesterday, the man who shot a police officer in the park was um, jailed for, for, for six months. Okay, the sentence is correct. The only problem is that you're using who, who as, a, as a subject, not as an object. Ah, okay. So how can I, how could be better? No, I mean, the sentence is, what you said is correct. All right. The only difference is that you're not using uh, who or that as objects. You, you're using them as objects. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, teacher, uh, maybe I can say, um, my mom is an architect that works in on projects. Okay, the example is perfect. The only difference but, is that it is perfect, but but you're using you're using that as a as a as a subject, not as an object. Ah, okay. Remember that when we use when yeah. we use when we use who or that as subjects as subjects, subject people. Are you with me? I'm here in the book. Are you with me? Look, we have who here, as you can see. Are you with me, guys? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Good. I have circled, I have circled who? Who? We can use that in the three examples with no problems. In the three sentences, you can use that. Okay. Look at this. In this case, in this case, we're using who or that as subjects. Why? Because the following word or the next word that you see here, it's a verb. It's a verb, as you see. Thinks is a verb. Made is a verb. And is is a verb. Well, in this case, it is the whole thing. But this is the verb, the structure of the verb. Okay. In that case, who and that are working, are working as subjects of the second sentence. Okay. The first sentence is this one. He is the manager. The second sentence is, who thinks all employees are lazy, okay? This is as subjects, okay, as subjects. Now, down here, this is what we were uh, practicing yesterday. Down here, we're using, we're using who and that as objects. The difference is the beginning of the second sentence. Look at this. This is the manager is the first sentence, okay? Then here we have the second sentence, but that here is not working as a subject. It's working as an object. Why? Because over here we have another subject. This is the verb and this is the complement. The complement is not really necessary, okay? It depends on what you're trying to say. But in this case, that is not working as a subject, but it's working 
as an object, okay? Yes. So that's what, what I need, people. That's what I need from you. So do you wanna give it a try? Anybody else that would like to try? Is there a person? A brave man, a brave woman? Teacher, sorry, how do you traduce this uh, sentence? The sentence. Okay, this one, the first one, he's the lawyer yes. that the manager met at the meeting in Spanish will be, él es el abogado que el gerente conoció en la reunión. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes, uh, let, let me see. Uh, you can also, you can also hear, like I said, like I've been telling you guys, this can be omitted. Se puede omitir, okay? You say he's a lawyer, the manager met at the meeting, all right? Yes. Okay, I need one example, just one people, one example, a perfect one, a perfect example, and, and we move on, tell me. Anybody? The um, Okay. Well, we have two examples. Two examples. Okay. Uh, ladies first. Shulma, go. Yes, of course. Okay. Mary is. Uh, Mary was. No, sería Mary is a teacher who teach me science. Okay. Mary is a teacher who teaches me. You said. Yes, teach me. I uh, think it teaches me if it is practical. Okay. Okay. Uh, we we are in the same situation because you're using who teaches and who is the subject, not the object. So <laughs> we're still in the same situation. I mean, the example is correct, but it's not the way I want it. Okay. Uh, Wilfredo, give it a try, please. Thank you so much for your example. Um. Could be uh, Rodrigo is the soccer player that your brother talked with you yesterday. Can you please repeat? Um, let me. Rodrigo mm -hmm. is the soccer player that your brother talked with you yesterday. That your brother, sorry? Talk. Talk. Hablo. To yesterday. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Wilfredo. That, that, that's an example. Okay. That's correct. Carla, do you want to say something? Because I, I, I see that you activated the microphone. So. Okay. Uh, the, wo the woman who is wearing a pink dress is my mother. Okay. The example is correct, but it's not what I want. <laughs> but it's, it oh. is correct. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. All right, guys, we're going to continue here and I would like to show you some vocabulary that I have for you. Okay. So today we're going to, yesterday we were talking about leadership skills or leadership traits. Today I have a bunch of them here and uh, we will be talking about them. This ones, okay, leadership traits. We have, uh, the ones that I have here are, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> active listening, empathy, the ability to share clear messages and make complex ideas easy to understand for everyone. Then we have, <laughs> okay, strategic thinking skills, creativity, the ability to inspire and convince others, flexibility, the ability to turn information into action, Project planning, active listening, again. What's the first one, active listening? Yeah. Okay. The ability to assess employees' strengths and weaknesses. Business storytelling, okay. Guys, is there a word that you don't understand here? A word that you don't understand here?
Guys, hello. You, we, we good here? You okay? Uh, teacher, what is weak, weaknesses? Weaknesses, debilidades. Okay, thank you. The strength, the fortalezas. Okay, very good, ability very good. To ask us. Sorry? Ability to ask us. Evaluate, evaluar, calificar. Okay. Yes, that's asses. Okay, more questions? No? Okay, very good. Storytelling, what is teacher? Storytelling. It's, it's, uh, when uh, when this person listens to different stories that people have, and uh, somehow he motivates these people with the stories, or he shares the stories, but these these stories are motivational. So uh, that's that's the purpose of it. Yes, that's business storytelling. Okay, no more. All right. Now I want you to I want you guys to do this. Okay. This is how we create create good leaders. But in this in this activity, I want you to be very, very honest with yourselves. Okay. Be very honest with you, yourselves. And at the end, we're going to see uh who, who's got the, the like more, more uh skills, okay. I want you to, to have a piece of paper next to you in which you're going to write, okay, my leadership skills, okay? Write on a piece of paper or your notebook that you have with you, write my leadership skills or traits, okay? Please do that right now. And from the ones, from the ones I have here, guys, from the skills or traits that I'm showing you in this moment, take the ones that you think you have, but be honest with yourselves. Take away or, or write down the one, the ones that you think you have, okay? But be honest. I will give you one or two minutes to do that. Let me know when you finish, okay? Write down the ones that you have. Could you repeat the instruction, teacher, please? Yes, of course, of course. Okay. Thank the you. title, the title of the activity is my leadership skills or my leadership traits. Okay. And uh, you're going to list or you're going to create a list of the skills that you have, but you're no, going to it? use you're going to use the skills that I have here or that I'm showing you yeah. in this moment. Okay. And I want you guys, I want you guys to be very, very honest about about this. Okay. If you don't have the skill, don't write it down. Don't put it. Are you guys done?
Guys? Can I continue? Yes? Okay, very good. This is one list, there's another one, and it is this one, okay? More leadership traits. As you can see, there's a picture. In the picture, you have more. It says leadership, like teamwork, motivation, competence, skills, responsibility, communication, power, and support. In the picture that, I, that I'm showing there, okay? And I have more here. It says time management, the ability to build trust, strong communication skills, positivity, reliability, management skills, the ability to align employees with the company values and goals, a strong leadership vision, recruiting skills, persuasion skills, or convincing skills, the ability to help employees find meaning at work, and strong charisma, okay? Those are more traits about leadership or more skills about, about leadership. They, uh, take the ones that you think you have and uh, write them down in your in your uh, in your traits or, or skills. Let me know when you're ready. Ready? Okay, I think we're done, huh? Okay, very good. Thank you for, for uh, your participation there. We're going to use this activity later on in a different activity. I'm sorry, I didn't ask you, do you have any questions about the vocabulary that we have in this, in this slide? Any word that you don't understand from here? No, we're good. All right. And then over here, we have some managerial styles. We have already talked about some of them. Not all of them though. As you can see, uh, I have a bunch of them here. We have autocratic management style. <clears throat> we have author, uh, author uh, this is a difficult word to pronounce, authoritative management style, persuasive management style, paternalistic management style, democratic management style, consultative management style, participative, management style, collaborative management style, transformational manager management style, coaching management style, easy fear management style, delegative management style, visionary management style, management styles, interview questions and uh, conflict management styles, okay? These are the styles that we have when we talk about management or managerial areas okay that's these are like there's a list okay so we have 
a lot of different styles. Some people, some managers or some leaders, they have a, a combination of styles. They mix them and they use a little bit from, from, from them. Okay. Uh, in, this, in, this part, in this part, what I want is this. I want you, I want you guys to choose only one. Okay. Whichever one you want. Okay. You can choose whatever or whichever one you want. But choose only one. And uh, you're going to write an explanation and you're going to share what you understand. If you want, you can uh, like, like uh, help yourself. You can go to, like, like the, go to Google and look for some information about that style, okay? So what I want you guys to do is like choose one, choose one, please, and explain that, please, okay? Go. Here's one of these and uh, write down a definition for it. Just in case you want you want the definitions, I'm just gonna show it, show uh, some of them to you. They are here. If you want to see the definition to help yourselves. Are you guys ready? Did you finish? Do you have the, your definition? Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's start sharing. A volunteer that would like to share, go. Anybody? Just share what you have. I have, teacher, I have a, a 
a few a few words maybe yes yes okay i choose i choose the collaborative uh, management mm -hmm. and i was looking something about it and, mm -hmm. and a collaborative leader regularly seek out a diversity of, of opinions and ideas among teammate, teammates to mm -hmm. build strategies and solve problems. As a result, employees are more, are more engaged, feel trusted, and are, and are more likely to take ownership of their work. Okay, that's a good one. Thank you very much, Rosa, for sharing. The collaborative style, it's when they help each other, okay? They take help. I like this, I like this. Yes, it, like it, this. Sounds, it sounds good, it sounds good, you know? Yes. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Go. Amy, mm -hmm. um, I look coaching management these leadership styles the objective is a development of talent of the employees leaders who practice the coaching style have a genuine interest in helping other social and encourage employees to develop strength mm -hmm. okay okay that's a good one thank you very much coaching style Excellent, thank you. Anybody else that would like to share? Me, teacher. Okay, Edwin, thank you for volunteering. Go. Okay, I choose a uh, conflict management style. Are the different ways that individuals address, engage in resolve conflict? Everyone handles conflict in their own way, but some unit characteristics on different conflict management styles involve avoidance at servers nice and negotiation more. Um, let me see. There, uh, what are the five styles of conflict management? Accommodating the style about simple putting the other party's needs before one's own and compromising, competing in collaboration. That's it, teacher. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's, that's perfect, that's perfect. Thank you very much for, for sharing with us. Anybody else? Thank you. Hey, teacher. Thank you for volunteering. Uh, the main skills of my leadership are uh, he is very flexibility, especially in our schedule, because for he is very important the result is not controller in our time, but uh, he asks about the result. It's not controller, but uh, it's important yes, uh, that the teammate it gives result. Yes, and the other, the, he has the ability to share clear messages. The ability to convert the complex messages mm -hmm. to simple. Mm -hmm. uh, is, I, I, can, I admire him because mm -hmm. it's very important to this ability, in my opinion. In the other, the ability, um, he, he, he is, uh, he is reliable, real, reliability. Oh, reliable. 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 Yes, reliable. Reliable, reliable person. And for me, it's very important to, to specific skill because um, he went trust with the other uh, people. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you for sharing. Anybody else? Uh, 
I use the, I prefer the democratic style. Okay. That's especially fine. with when you have to take some important decisions or when you have to implement some things new. So if you ask them first, uh, you don't have to apply any type of uh, preferences or uh, privileges. And I think that you will get the results fast. Okay. Yes. Democratic. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Luis, for sharing. People, continue. You have to practice. Come on. Is there anybody else? People, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Are you there? Are you with me? Can you hear me? Do you copy me? No? <laughs> we have a situation. Okay, then I was looking for volunteers, no volunteers. I'm going to choose them directly. Okay, let's see. Flor, hi, Flor. Flor, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hey, me, teacher. Hello, I hear you. Yes. Can you please share your your style and the definition that you have for it? And the I the coaching. The coaching management style teacher. Okay, and what is your definition? And no compliment. Hello. You didn't get it. Okay, that's okay. That that's that's fine. Gabriela, do you have uh, your, your style with definition? Yes, teacher. Uh, I choose the persuasive management. Uh, this style is somewhat similar to the autocratic style of management, but the major difference is that in persuasive persuasive styles. Mm -hmm. uh, the manager spends more time working with these teams in order to try to convince them of the benefits of the decisions that have been have been made. Okay, sounds sounds amazing. All right, thank you, Gabriela, for that. All right, very good. Thank you for the ones that have participated. The ones that didn't participate are going to participate in this moment. Okay, and uh, I, if you go to the chat, if you go to the chat, I have sent some information. Well, uh, yeah, information that can help you when to when you want to express your your position or your job position or your profession, okay, or or the place where you work. But you look at them. I work for. I work on. I run. I manage. I work under. I'm in charge of, I deal with, I'm responsible for, and I work with, okay? That is very useful. That's, a, that's very useful information when you want to express your profession or where you work, or when you want to express something about your job, okay? Yes. So for this, I'm going to need just three people to, to use the vocabulary, and then we continue. Okay, let me see. Jose, are you there? Jose, hi. 
Hi, teacher. Have you seen the, the chat? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you please use one of them? Are you talking about Zoom chat, right? Sorry, I'm talking about what, sorry? Excuse me, teacher, could you mind repeat, please? I don't listen oh, so what clear. I, what I want, what I want. If you go to the chat, you're going to find some information. So I need you, I need you to choose what you want and, uh, and complete it with your own information. Ah, yeah, teacher, I get it. And let me see. And... Um, Okay, uh, I am in charge of evaluate the the production floor and about the cell production. Uh, the production is related to uh, underwear clothes uh, uh, as non extended leg, and I am in charge to to manage and the. I forget the word teacher, uh, desempeño. Sorry, performance. Okay, uh, about the performance day by, okay, the performance day by day. Okay, okay, that sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Jose for sharing. Uh, let me see, Adriana, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, use one of the one of the sentences. Okay. Um, and I work for um the name the company. Uh, it's okay. Yes, yes, it's okay. Okay, but I work for in uh, Central America Spinning Works El Salvador. Um, I am response. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, all the sentence. Yes, I complete. I run. Um, I run. I don't understand. I run. Yo corro. No, 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 no. Guys, what is run? Ejecutar o realizar. Run. Ah, I run the supervisor employee. I manage um, the, um, the safety and health occupational. Okay, that, that, that's okay. Thank you, Diana. And, uh, uh -huh. and, also, and also, run means dirigir. Dirigir. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, okay, teacher. For example, okay. I can say, I, I run a business overseas. I run business overseas. Okay. Yo dirijo, manejo, controlo los negocios en Okay. And uh, one more person. This is the last one, Pamela. Hi. Pamela is sleeping. <laughs> She's sleeping. All right, guys, let me stop here and I'm going to take attendance real quick. And then we continue. Okay, let me see. This one is Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Present. Ana Sandy Chavez. Present teacher. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. 
Gloria Elizabeth Lares Caldames. Here. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present teacher. Hello, José. Julia Patricia Vázquez. All right. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Hello. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present teacher. Luis Orlando Rodríguez Herrera. Here. Hello. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. See, uh, good to see you again. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Here, teacher. Hi. Pamela Beatriz Bocina. Sleeping. Good. good evening, present. Ah. Okay. What? <laughs> what happened? I was calling you before and you didn't respond. Ah, uh, sorry, I let. Uh, yeah, sorry, with my dog. Uh -huh, no excuses. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> no, anyone. <laughs> okay, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Hello, Sandra Gladys Ramirez. Sandra Gladys Mendez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Hello. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Suma Rosabra López García. Present. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. And Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present teacher. People, it is raining here. So, okay. This is, it is good and it is not good. It is good because I like it. And it is not good because I might lose, you know, connection. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay. In my place where is a raining teacher. Really? Play, in my play, my house. The house is, is a raining. Do you guys, do you guys like rainy days? Or do you like the weather? I mean, when it is raining. I like it. It's good. It. It's I, fresh. I, I, mm -hmm. Especially, especially this past week that I was here in my house, it was raining. I was just sleeping and sleeping and sleeping. <laughs> it was in, that way, in that way, it's nice, teacher. But if we are working, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I was not working last week, so I was I was good. <laughs> okay, very good. That's awesome. Let's continue. People, uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a document in which we will find a lot of vocabulary related to business. Okay. There are some words that might be easy for you. And there are some words that you might not uh, understand, but we will explain all of them. And I'm sharing the document with you as a, as a word document. Do you see it people? Yes. Yes. Okay, this is yes. vocabulary. This is business vocabulary. Okay, there are some words that we already know, and uh, there might be some words that you don't know yet, and we will explain. Let's look at the first, the first, uh, the first list. We have monopoly, sick leave, penalty, advantage, public holidays, typeface, commerce, uh, deflation, bottom line. Boss, entrepreneur, username, and the facilities. Okay, those are the words that we have. Is there a word that you don't understand from there? No, we're good there. We're good. Okay. What's the, the meaning of sick leave, teacher? Sick leave. Okay. Sick leave is when you're yeah. sick. Is when you're sick, and you present a piece of paper that tells the company that you are sick. 
this this piece of paper you got it from the hospital or from the clinic or somewhere and uh the company takes the paper and you go to your house you rest and they pay you sick leave okay or in other words incapacidad okay yes it's <laughs> thank you Normally, they call them medical leave or uh, medical suspension. Right? Medical leave. That's another one. Okay, we have no. Pregnancy. Normally, yes. we call we call the sick leave and um, management matter like uh, medical leave or medical suspensions. Suspensions? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you, Luis, for the info. Awesome. Okay. Uh, it the was the meaning huh? deflation, deflation. What is it? Oh, deflation is when something is going down, falling in pieces, or falling in prices. Okay, it's like decadencia, deflation. Okay. When there is a like, for example, you're selling shoes, right? But these shoes go obsolete and the prices start falling, you know? That's what deflation is. Okay. Okay, thank you. The price of the Bitcoin teacher. Oh, yes, exactly. That it has a deflation right now. It's, it is going down. Yes. Eventually it will go up again, but we have to be patient with it. Yes. I don't use it though. All right. The second list, the second list, we have management, negotiation, copyright, wholesaler, policy, purchase, rise, economics, foreman, incentive, uh, incentive, sorry, capitalist, overhead, and share woman. Okay, that's the second list. Is there a word that you don't understand from there? From the second list. We're good. Chairwoman. Chairwoman, Hepa. <laughs> More words? Is right the chairman. Sorry? Is. I, your microphone is off. You turned it off. Anna, your microphone is off. I'm sorry. It's okay. For me, teacher, is the first time I listened, listened to the chairwoman. It uh, exists the chairman. Yes, chairman, yes, yes. But is that's the um, most common. That's the most common. Chairman is the most common. The, what is more formal? The boss? Oh, shift. Sorry. Oh, it's the same. What? It's the mm -hmm. boss, chief, boss, leader, chairman, president, okay. CEO. CEO, yes, the maximum. Yeah, the that's authority right. for the administrative structure. Yes. yes. Somebody was about to Okay. Say. Thanks, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. When in the company talk about, um, for example, um, the scale or organigram, how do you say in English? Organigram. Organigram. Okay. Blue chart, teacher. You can say Blue share. You'll billboard chart. Uh, chart. Yes. For example, sometime I remember I heard uh, this word, top banana when in the company we have some visit uh, from the United States to here El Salvador, when American people, they, they have some visit in El Salvador. Uh, sometimes I remember the, the manager in, in, in my plant, my company told us, uh, hey, you have to be ready because tomorrow we're going to be, become the top banana. Um, like, like the maximum he, is, he is the he is the in charge to get the money to receive our payment 
about uh, well, um, everybody go over there cleaning or uh, every area that we have to to check <laughs> but I, I remember I, I heard this word top banana and CEO but uh, what's the difference or, or, or it is informal when we can yeah, say yes. top banana yes I think that's super informal top banana is not really like like something it is like it is like uh, I've been el recio uh -huh, exactly exactly <laughs> but the top banana refers to everything not only your boss it can be like like the person who is the the best in the class, the best in a group, uh, the person who, who is like the best in a group. That's what they call the top banana. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, yes, the organigram, that's good. All right, no more words? Okay, here in this, the, third, the third list, we have board of directors, wage, presentation, retire, estimate, vacation time, collateral, withdraw, wholesale, borrow, sales, saleswoman, shipping, and merchandise. Okay. Is there a word from this list that you don't understand? We're good? Yes? Okay. If you have questions, let me know. All right. Then the, the last the last list we have another uh we have more vocabulary upload memo net net worth leave win win uh purchase order billboard shop budget strike compromise coupon and found okay yes is there a word from this list that you don't understand or that you're not familiar with? Guys? A streak, teacher. A streak. Strike. A strike. Uh -huh. Strike has different different uh, definitions. Strike can be golpe. Yes. Okay. Welka. Uh, in this case, I think is is uh is not related to, to to physical contact because strike is like you no know, un golpe. Strike. Uh, I don't think it has to do with with welgas like una huelga or when you refuse to work with a company or to refuse with the with the service or something okay or probably it can it can be you know like like related to that yes okay mm -hmm. okay thank you yes. what else people is there win win sorry win win Oh, win-win is when uh, whatever you're doing is not only beneficial for you, but also for everybody. Everybody wins, okay? An example can be, this project is a we-win, okay? Which, which means I win, you win, everybody wins, nobody loses. That's what it means, win-win. This win. Is, a, is a model of the business that you wait, that the both part win. Exactly, that's, that's the thing. Get yeah. benefit. Uh -huh. I win, you win. Okay, I get the benefits, you get the benefits. Okay, nobody loses. All right. Thank you, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Uh, could you share the vocabulary in <laughs> our WhatsApp group, please? <clears throat> Sorry. Could you share the vocabulary in our WhatsApp group? This one. Yeah. Yes, no problem. I can do it. Okay, thank you. In fact, I will. I think we, we don't have more questions there. Let me <coughs> close it. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, teacher, another another observation. Uh, today I try to review the the class of the uh, uh, last Friday mm -hmm. in in the platform in don't uh, 
don't don't form because in 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 the video that, that last Friday is the video at the last Thursday. Mm, I don't think so. It has to be there. Yes. Actually, um, three, videos, three videos have to be there. The one from Thursday, Friday, and, and the one from yesterday. Yes, it the the but the, the the video of Friday. I don't don't film. Okay, that's weird. I'm going to check later after the after before we finish the class. I'm going to go check and show you that okay. it is there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Guys, do you have any questions? Guys, no? Okay, we are going to continue. And uh, there is an activity, but it's, this activity is in groups. Okay, do you remember, do you remember that I told you, I told you to, to select your uh, leadership skills? like earlier at the beginning of the class, I told you to choose some uh, leadership skills or traits that you have, remember? Yes? Okay, very good. So what we're going to do is this. I think you guys remember the activity that we did yesterday with the, with the leaders, the good leaders like Steve Jobs, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, and uh, more people that you guys were talking about. So today we're going to do something similar. I'm going to create groups of three, only three people in each group, okay? And uh, in the groups, in the groups, you are going to choose one person or one, one uh, classmate, okay? And you're going to make, you're going to make this classmate your leader, okay? Your company leader. And you're going to create a, not a very long presentation. If you want, you can include a picture of the person there and you can write a name, okay? And use your creativity in this and write the skills that this person has, okay? Do you understand? Guys, do you understand? No? <laughs> Yes, no. Teacher, More or less. The task is uh, identify a, a um, sheet leader and describe uh, those to secure. Exactly, okay. Let me, let me give you an example. Let's say that Carla Vasquez, Ana Selmi, and Gabriela Gonzalez are in the same group, okay? You, the three of you, are going to share each other. With you, you know, you're going to share each other your skills, and then you're going to decide who is going to be the leader. Okay, and you're going to create a presentation with this person, and you're going to write down this person this person's skills. Okay, yes. You get me now. If you want, you can write. Uh, you can. Put a picture there with the name, you know. Uh, you can come up with the company name, etc. A lot of things, you know. The activity similar, the activity the and yesterday, we have, we, only exactly. the real person between uh, our classmates. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Okay. It's similar to, to the one that we did yesterday, but today we're going to uh, have us. Okay. We are going to be the leaders. Okay. Very good. Let's go. I just saw a person joining, uh, but she left. It was Susana. I don't really know what happened to her. All right, let me see. Hello. Ah, you're there. <laughs> I just saw you. Okay, there's, there's going to be just one group with three people and the rest are going to be four. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go, people. I will see you there. 
Lourdes, Luis, are you guys there? Yes, teacher. I will write in the chat. No, but just, just, just go, go to the group. Okay, join the group. Ah, okay. And, and stay there. <laughs> and explain, explain, because you're, you're with Edwin and Walter. Explain to them that you are feeling bad and that you cannot really participate or give opinions. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Uh, you maintain the call uh, in front of the crisis, 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 crisis is the right the pronunciation teacher. Crisis, yes. Crisis, crisis. crisis the, the personality calm is good. <laughs> Who is the leader? Yes, uh, we, were talking, we were talking about Sulma. She is a, a very, very leadership for this group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Surma. 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 Really? Okay, Surma. Excellent, Surma. Okay, the, yeah, this yeah. decision is it was a uh, democratic. <laughs> <laughs> the majority, Democratic. the majority is right. The majority proposed Surma. <laughs> okay, including me. <laughs> okay, sorry. Alfredo, no. Do you agree? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I agree. If you want, you can put a you can put a picture of Rosabra there, like. No, the picture is is very nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Rosabra Lopez, our leader. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> it sounds good. <clears throat> Somebody's asking for help. Let me get back to you later. Not the church. What, what, do you have a question or something? Sorry. Yes, I had confused because uh, I, I, you can explain what it does explicitly. Okay, yes, exactly. I'm going to explain to you what it is. We have Ophelia, Nelson, Susana, and uh, Gabriela in this group, four people. At the beginning of the class, I asked you to, to write down your leadership skills, remember? No? Yes, teacher. Okay, so what you're going to do is this. Let me see if I can share the, the, the skills to the chat. In a way you see them again. There are a lot of them. I just sent, I just sent uh, some of them to you guys. Do you see them? Check your chat and you will find the information there. There are two lists. This is the other one. I shared these, these leadership skills with you earlier. So I need, I need you to choose one leader from this, from this group, okay? And create a presentation about this person, okay? Do you understand? 
I think so. Okay. We need a, a, a we need a participant. We represent the group. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. we make a description for this person like a, like a leadership for us. Uh -huh. Like this person, for example, Nelson, Nelson Sanchez, our magnificent, uh, fantastic leader, or I don't know, okay, or something like that, yes. Okay. 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 Yes, just that, okay. Yes, Let me see what just joined. Um, Guys, uh, one of you have a computer? Yes, me. Ophelia, are you there? Wait, Ophelia, are you there? <clears throat> Hi, okay. I thought you were not there. Wait, I, I see you, okay. Guys, continue. I will be back here later. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Tolerant. How do you say tolerante? Sorry? Tolerante? Step by step every day. Oh, paciente. No paciente. And uh, are you are you creating Teacher, the Sure, yes, 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 okay. Uh, oh. We need to choose one person and then we need to describe uh, a skill personal skills. The leadership skills. Yes. Leadership skills. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me let me I I, yes. mean, I sent it to the to the, to the group. Let me see if I can do it again. Okay. Uh, I just did check your chat. You will find the info, the, the information there, all the skills there. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Yeah, choose a, choose a person, Adriana, Flor, or you. Okay. Continue, please. I will see you guys later on. Jose. She, she, she has, she, she has easy, easy of expression. Teacher, sorry, teacher. Hi. Hi. We understand in that way. We need to choose one of the three, one of the three of us, and ah. we write the name and we we write the the skills that we we think that that person has. Okay. Yes, exactly. Okay. okay. I just resent. I just resent the skills through the chat. If you go to the chat, you will find. Okay. It. okay. You can use those ones, or you can use okay. the ones that you think uh, can... are, are the ones. Okay. Ah, the, the skills that was in the person in the in the at the beginning, that, yes. Um. Oh, let me. No, we don't have the the, the chat teacher. Well, I think maybe no. Uh, in the chat, I just uh, I just resent the information. Oh, wait. Oh. At the, at this moment, teacher. Do you see the information? No, teacher. In the chat of in the Zoom. Here, here, in the Zoom chat. Oh, yeah. sorry, sorry, teacher, sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Activity, activity. Where's, the, where's the picture? Where's the picture, Rosa? Yeah, I was looking my best picture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking my best picture. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We we can choose. Let's see. Oh my God. Hmm. Strong charisma. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. A strong yeah. communication skill. <laughs> Let me. Posit 
possi possibili 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 what possibili what are you talking about people this this uh, this uh, possi possibility positivity Positivity. Ah. How do you pronounce? Positivity. 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 Yeah. Positivity. Yes. Uh, positivity. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Positivity. Okay. Positivity. Positivity. Okay. Okay. We can. We can put. Uh, maybe uh, also it has the ability to share clear message and make complex idea easy to understand for everyone. Oh like I I tell you before about it about you that you can teach someone. Uh, oh, this one the ability to share clear. Okay. Let me let me write this. The ability. Oh my God! Where is? This? Okay, guys, continue. I will see you later. Okay, let me go okay teacher. Later. Thank you, teacher. Um, as I say of uh, the beginning, uh, I have a it's lot a, of skill. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Edwin Alexander. He's a good Edwin trust. Alexander Ayala. Yes. He's the driver. You are yes. the leader. Are you the leader? Fast, no. fast, fast the food. No. <laughs> Imagine we... the, um, I in a in a in a in a house in the, from a bus. He has uh, two Mercedes Benz and one Land Cruiser Prado, and has two B BMWs X6. Last last time, I mean last week, I I went to to Lourdes in a BMW X6. Is that was in that 2021? But when I was in a Monsignor Romero, I was like almost on 160 for, for mile for kilometers per mile, and I was like I was very fast. But actually, <laughs> uh, you don't feel you, you you don't feel that fast because I, I don't know that, that that those trucks are like incredible. They are so new and everything, and you know you just want to push the gas and go straight, you know. <laughs> but you need to have be careful and I have a lot of experience uh, uh, driving those those cars because I have been working there for for almost 12 years. So what the, what, what we can say is you can say that I have a good um, uh, a, a good experience driving uh, those kind of cars and 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 something that I said before, the, when I go, when I need to go, when I need to go in a place and I have to be there quickly, I use ways. This app helps me a lot to, to get there and, and avoid traffic, you know, and I, this is not my skill, but it's something that I do, you know, but to, to avoid traffic and, and being there in the place or, uh, the soon as possible. Right. Another, mm -hmm, another uh, thing. I'm very patient. Every time there is traffic, you know. Nowadays the traffic is getting worse. Oh my god! I don't know. There's too much car now, and the and the pollution and the air pollution is increasing. Everything, you know. So and sometimes in this in this is this is what I think the there is a lot of accidents now because the, the people don't have patience in the streets and they were fighting. Look, in this afternoon I saw a video that there were a girl uh, recording another guy and they were the guy were telling her it's the bad words and, and I don't know yeah. and she started recording him and I was <laughs> like oh my god how, how could this happen now? This is that the, the, there are too many cars like like now a lot of people have cars mm -hmm. and uh, we have a lot of abusive drivers and uh, disrespectful drivers. A lot of people that, ah, uh, Jesus. It's the, I'm going yeah. to, this is group number number five, right? Yes. I'm going to bring a person here, okay? 
in that way you are in that way you are three people here because the word is not available yeah, Lourdes, uh, she has COVID. She still yes. she write us in the chat. Okay, I just brought another person. He can help you out with the with the activity. Okay. Thank you so much, teacher. Okay, okay. continue, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Because, yes. Yeah. <laughs> teacher. It's a, it's a long list of the abilities of Zulma, teacher. Zulma is amazing. Yes, it's amazing. It is it's our chairwoman. Our oh, chairwoman, sure okay. Yes. But this work in my mind doesn't sound elegant, teacher. Chairwoman. Chairwoman. Yes. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's not. I prefer. The, the CEO is uh, is is more polite in my mind. <laughs> in <Okay>. my mind, <laughs> the share woman. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. But okay. No, no, no. There are a really ability of the Sulma teacher. Really? Yes, the real abilities. In conclusion, Sulma, uh, you are prepare, prepare, no, you prepare. Uh, mm -hmm. No, you are prepared for this chair of the leadership. Uh, <laughs> Let me correct you with, uh, with, hi, I'm going to correct you with the second one. It says project planning. Abilities to coordinate, coordinate mm -hmm. tasks. Mm -hmm. The third, uh, let me see, patient calm is correct, smart, collaborative with others, organized. Analytic is uh, analytic. That's the first Y, the first I is not I, is Y. Analytic. Yes. Give clear instruction. Okay, guys. It's enough, teacher. If you think so, if you think so, you can leave it like that if you want. Yes, you agree. Okay. That color, it looks white, everything. Put some okay. color, put yeah. some color in it. See you later. Mandari, ya manda pelo. Yes, positivity, optimism. Jose, can okay. you see the main, main, main stage? Sí, 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 yes. Ok, ok, bye. Es definición de positivity. Positivity. Ok. Positivity. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know. And the, the right, it's incorrect, pero es is definición de positivity, ok. Puse mala okay. palabra. Positivity. Bitly, puse. <laughs> it's ok. Mm, active listening. Guys, did you you're about to finish? <laughs> so close, teacher. Okay, okay. I will give you some more minutes. I'm going to visit another group, okay? Okay, that's okay. Nelson have ability to can use equipment, the service, internet of the client. Ophelia was here. Okay. Ophelia was here, right, in this group. Yes. This is good. Ophelia is with us. She, let, she I think she lost connection. Okay, Nelson work was not, remove that was please in the, the first sentence. 
that's on work worked in the plataforma. What are you trying to say? ¿Qué quiere decir la, la, esa oración? Estaba, está trabajando. Ah, uh, will be. Yeah. You, está trabajando, dice usted. Yeah. Okay. Nelson works. Póngale con ese. Solo works. Remove, remove will be. Nelson works in the plataforma. What? What are you trying to say? The video cable. ¿Qué quiere decir en, en este de video cable television? El cable de televisión. Sorry. Es a cable de televisión. Servi. Okay, you can say he works in a plataforma. Uh, that offers, te ofrece, that offers uh -huh. no. the cable service. Is, is, is a how the, is a how the, uh, or present process in the, in the, in the old channel, it's in the, in the, in the, the service, the cable, the TV, or the client. Okay, okay, I, uh -huh. I understand now. I don't know. Ability is not with H. Nelson, you can use, you can use, Nelson is a, is very creative. Or oh, Nelson wow. have, have a great creativity, maybe. Mm -hmm. Is flexibility with, with help the people? Just correct them later on, okay? You can correct them. Okay. No problem. I like when Nelson help us and when share. Continue, guys. We'll be done okay. soon. Okay. But he makes he makes some joke with Hi. <laughs> with my Hi. teacher. We finish. We finish, Rosa Elena. Yes, yes we finish. Do you consider Rosa? Do you consider yourself a good leader? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Um, a little bit. A little bit, yes, because sometimes I don't have um passion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I don't I don't have passion. <laughs> I want to kill all the people. <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> That's normal. It's okay. But but uh, with my boss, when my boss is absent, I take the role of the okay. of the boss at the warehouse. And I need to, I need to manage a uh, five men. Okay. Because, okay. because I'm, on, I'm the only girl in the in the warehouse. In the warehouse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I need to be more uh, strict. Strict. <coughs> yeah. You need to be very strict, and yeah. sometimes and sometimes serious. Yeah. Okay, excellent. I think everybody has finished. So we're going to go back to the main session and we're going to share this with everybody, okay? Okay. You're going to be famous, Rosa. <laughs> oh Rosa is going to be famous. Okay. She's going to be famous.
Yes. <laughs> We are alone. Okay, we're back, people. Hi. Okay, we we have some time, and now I want to I want you guys to share your leaders, <clears throat> make them famous. Okay, guys, who wants to start? We are ready, teacher, to okay. talk about yeah. our leadership. Okay. Wilfredo, go. I'm okay. And ladies, could you share the, the presentation, please? Okay, everybody, we are we are going to talk about um Your I? we are we are going to talk about our leadership. Um Sulma Rosaura Lopez Garcia. Uh, she has the follow the follow, following skill, but my co-worker Anna Selmi is going to start talking about Sulma. Okay. Please, Anna. Thank you, Wilfredo. But the skill of Sulma are she is very active listening mm -hmm. because she has the, the skill to listen to the other people and it's a good skill for the leadership. The second. Okay, okay thank you, Anna Selmi. We are going to talk about another skill about Sulma. And let me, let me tell you that she has a, a good, this is a good skill about Sulma. She's project planning abilities to coordinate tasks. She always, every week, she start to organizing the all tasks during the week, per month. And then she, she always has clear or activity for the week. Anna, and tell she, me, will you continue? She is, thanks. she is very smart because for each experience, she, she learned about that. It, she is very smart because um, she tried to learn more, more, more. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And another good skill from the, that I told with you about Sulma that that uh, she is a, a patient and calm. When the result, when when she doesn't doesn't get result she always keep on calm then she told with with the with her team and start to receive the the plant to get the best result and they they told with her team to get it and and sulma she is very collaborative with the others she she work shoulder to shoulder with co-workers. Um, okay, another good skill um, that she has, it is organize. Always, always, before organize. to start, organize. Always, and um, before to start the job or, they, or her work, and uh, they uh, start um, with a meeting with her team to give all our tasks about um, the, the week. They, but 
every everybody have to do. And Sulma, she is very analytic. Uh, her answers has uh, her answers have um, a base in in base um, related to the fact. Okay, and the last one, but the most important skill about Sulma that it will be that she is um, she she has a, a good a very 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 clear uh, about give clear instruction for the, the her team and um, because when she uh, because she always wants to get the best result but he, her team have to be clear all all instruction that she has to tell to the team then teacher okay. we we guess with Anna Selmi that our leadership, Sulma Lope Garcia, maybe could, she could be to get another position in, the, in her company. Okay. And maybe we, we, we hope, we hope uh, that she maybe could be a chairwoman. All right. Please <laughs> raise your hand. Raise your <laughs> hand in both. <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing okay. this information about yeah, so. what a leader, what a leader, man. <laughs> right, thank you guys for sharing that. Awesome. You're making Suma famous. Will you stop stop sharing, please? Thanks. Yes, in this moment. <laughs> I think I will do it. I can do it, no problem. There you go. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, another group, another leader. Uh, we we are ready, teacher. Okay, excellent. Rosa, looks, Rosa, Rosa, Rosa looks happy. Rosa, please. <laughs> I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to share. <laughs> okay. Our leader, leadership is Rosa Elena Salgado. Uh, she she born leader. Uh, she she has the material to lead any world team. Uh, she she showed the ability to share clear message, messages and make complex ideas easy to understand for everyone. Uh, she she uh, activity listen. She is em empathy. She have the ability to build truths. She has the ability to inspire and convince to others. Uh, she she always uh, she always is very kind to everyone, and she help us when we don't understand something in a class. We believe that uh, she 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 is a good leader, uh, and for me she has the 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 following skill that mentioned. Um, for me, uh, 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 to uh, Rosalena uh, work, uh, Rosalena performs administrative work in her company. She worked in a warehouse. For me, is very interesting her job because I think that she has to the ability to perform on her her job. All right, excellent. Rosa looks happy. <laughs> <laughs> She's happy. Yeah, Rosalina is happy always. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you guys for sharing. Excellent. Mauricio, go. Walter, Mauricio, and Elvin and Luis, I think. Edwin, Luis, Walter. OK. 
okay, 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 ready. <laughs> Nice. Hello. Teacher. Go. Okay. Uh, it's a presentation. I'm not picture. <laughs> Excuse mm -hmm. me. It's okay. Okay. And uh, and we is a good person. And, and durability and our uh, taxi driver is good a uh, driver and in San Salvador and to now everyone from Salvador or Salvador uh, this credibility is to avoid traffic. They are ability to not use any person. Mm. Uh, I recommend this. If you need a, a driver, a taxi driver, it's a fun for you, Edwin. I recommend them, and that job. And your abilities, the Edwin. And solamente. Okay, okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Thank you very much for sharing. Okay. <clears throat> Another group. I think Flor was in a different floor. And Gabriel, I think you were in a group with Nelson, no? Yes, Nelson. Yes, teacher. Okay, you guys go. Who? Yeah. Who, teacher? I don't know. You, you guys decide. Okay, me. Susan, your presentation, you were. Okay, thank you. With the leadership is Nelson. Uh, Nelson works in the platform of the service video cable television, but he's engineer of system compute, system analyst. Nelson is responsibility process all channel television service. He's up in all platforms, DVB, standard AD resolution video. But attention other service, the service internet. Nelson have ability that can use equipment the service different of the client. Nelson is innovation because he developed different project. The ability to turn information into action and has uh, project planning and activity list sending. Other like um, with Nelson is he share uh, with, with his conocement because he uh, helped the people. I can say it's for me because help me with the homeworks and other models. I really, I, I really admire this part for him. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, thank you very much for sharing. Uh, what are, are you confused about, Jose? Oh. Stop sharing the participants. So you said you were you're confused. Okay, guys, I shared through the, through the through this chat, not the WhatsApp one, this one, I shared with you the vocabulary you were asking for. It is there. If there's a person that can download this and share it through the WhatsApp group, that will be perfect. Okay, uh, guys, we have finished this, this time. Okay, I'm going to take attendance and then we'll be, we'll be free to go, except, Except uh, Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez. Hello. Hello, teacher. You stay after class. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. And, and sorry. <laughs> okay. Ada Patricia, are you still here with us? I think Ada lost connection. She left. 
she was here, but she's not here. She's not here anymore. <clears throat> Adriana Stephanie? Present. Anna Selmi? Present teacher. Gabriel Alejandra, hello. Present teacher. Gloria Elizabeth? Okay, uh, Jose Ernesto. Present teacher. Julia Patricia, no, no, right. She was not here today. Carla Veronica. Present teacher. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta Miranda, Miranda. Present. Luis Orlando Rodriguez. Here. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present teacher. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Hi. Pamela Beatriz uh, Posada Reina. Good night. Rosa Elena Salgado Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys. Right. Susana Carolina Hernández. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present. Wilfredo. Present. Present teacher. Suma Rosaura. Present. Flor de María Carballo. Present. And Edwin Ayala. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Everybody, thank you for being here. It's been a pleasure. And, uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care, have a good night and uh, sleep well, rest. And tomorrow we will see each other again, all right? Yes, bye-bye. See you tomorrow, people. Except you, Gabriela, you stay. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night, people. Good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Take care. Let's see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. Everybody left. Hi guys, uh, we're going to have another activity here. If you see this part of the video, I want you guys to write examples to continue practicing with the relative pronouns. I'm going to help you here. Relative pronouns. Okay, subjects. Subjects and uh, objects. Okay, subjects and objects. I'm going to explain to you how it goes. Okay, Tanya. Talks to her friend who talks to her friend who, let me change the color, created an uh, app, application. Okay. Tanya talks to her friend who created an application. Talks to a friend, let's say. Talks to a friend who created an application. In this case, as you can see, we have we have who. Okay, we can use that. In, in fact, let me write it down. That. Okay, both are correct. You can use either of them. Okay, Tanya talks to a friend that created an application or who created an application. In this case, we're using who or that as a subject, okay? The subject that we had, that we mentioned is this one, okay? Uh, who and that are subjects of the sentence, 
Okay, let me break it down to you by doing the following. Tanya, in this case, is what we call a subject. All right, this is the subject. Talks is the verb. Talks is the verb. To a friend is the complement. All right. Then we, we have created, created is a verb in the past form. An application is the complement. All right. So in this case, we have who and that that are working as the subject of the second sentence. The subject of the second then sentence. The second sentence is this one. Let me. This is the second sentence. Okay. The second sentence starts with uh, that or who, which are the subjects, created the verb, and application is the complement. Okay. That is one use of the relative pronouns as the subjects. Now, as objects, it tends to be a little different here. Okay, and I don't know how, I think I will do it like this. We'll do this. Okay, here we go. I'm going to have an example here of of ready pronounced as objects, not as subjects, okay? Tanya is talking to a person who who she has never seen before. Ty is talking up to a person who she's never seen before or that she has never seen before. Let me write that down. There you go. You can use both. Okay, the second sentence, let me put it here. This is the second sentence as the one that we have up here, the same situation. In the first sentence, we have Tanya, which is the subject of the sentence. Okay, then we have is talking, which is the structure for the second, for the verb, sorry. Is is the auxiliary, talking is the verb. To a person is the complement of the sentence, okay. Then if we go to the second sentence, we have she. She is the subject, has is an auxiliary, and the scene is the verb, okay? And before is the complement, but the, let's not talk about that. We have who and that over here. <clears throat> we have who and that over here. Who and that are not subjects, they are objects, okay? They are objects. In this case, we are, uh, let me put it here objects and we can omit these objects we can say tanya is talking to a person she has never seen before with no problems you can omit both of them okay you can include them or you can omit them but in the first example as as uh, subjects we cannot omit anything okay over here we cannot omit them because we're using them as the subject and we have the verb. We do not have another subject. We just have who or that that are the subjects. And in here, in the second examples, we do have a subject. The subject is she. Okay, who and that are not working as subjects. They are working as objects. So in this case, we can omit either. I mean, both of them, we can omit them. All right. So guys, continue practicing this part. All right. And uh, on future classes, we will see how you guys are doing it, all right?
Guys, take care and peace. See you in the next session.